and later we'll open the heart file on a pioneer of music who's re-emerged to make rock and roll history. Coming up next, she fought back from serious illness to the Hall of Fame. Meet the courageous Laverne Baker. Now, when you think back to the 50s, stars like Chuck Berry and Buddy Holly come to mind, the men of rock and roll. But some of the biggest hits of that era, Tweedly Dee, Tweedly Dumb, and Jim Dandy, were recorded by a woman, Laverne Baker. She's making a comeback after decades away from the business. In 1956, the hit song Jim Dandy put Laverne Baker at the top of the charts. She climbed a mountain of hardship to get there, enduring prejudice and poor working conditions along the way. Go, Jim Dandy! Go, Jim Dandy! We played like tobacco fields, we played like tobacco warehouses, uh, they, we played where they stored the cotton. They didn't care as long as they could sell tickets and get the show in there. She appeared with all the greats, but disappeared completely in the late 60s after becoming seriously ill during a tour of Vietnam. Doctors told her to slow down. She said, you're like a car that's been in a bad accident. You know, need complete rehauling. She recuperated in the Philippines, working at an American military base as entertainment director. This is rare home footage. The weather is bad. You have no place to go. So stay here at the fabulous staff NCO. And they had a disc jockey somewhere, I think it was in San Francisco. He said, I give $5 to anybody know where to burn papers. And the guy said, hey, I just left her. She's in the Philippines. <laughs> She recently returned to the States for a record company reunion and sparked a sort of Laverne Baker revival. Considered a pioneer of rhythm and blues, she's become only the second woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It makes you feel so good that people uh, not only uh, remember you, they still have so much respect for you. Good to see her back. Laverne has four children waiting for her in the Philippines. She plans to go back there, then pack up her things and return to the States for what she calls the second half of her career. And that's an update from The Heart File.